Hello everyone. Right, I'm frequently asked, what do you do when jobs go wrong? And I've always told you, academically, keep everybody up to date. And now I can tell you, non-academically, because as you can see, I am standing in my high visibility vest. There's Jessica over there, who in her infinite wisdom this morning, we did the flowers, I was up at, um, I got there at five, we processed them all. And then I did them, I went down to Bournemouth, I'm dropping them off. And when I got to Bournemouth, couldn't be on a day when I'm sort of doing a, a local run, could it? Got down to Bournemouth, light comes on the dashboard and it says um, alternator stroke battery. So I rung the mechanic, I rung people, they went, um, you know, you got so long and not long. I went, okay. Uh, then the radio went off, I thought, right, we're in trouble. But no, we kept running, kept running, kept running, we're doing all right. Um, and then I'm on the M3, heading towards Slough. I've got three drops left on board, and it died. The, uh, the ABS light came on, and then the windscreen wiper stopped working. And of course, it's raining. Can't drive in the rain if you've got no windscreen wipers. So I did the sensible thing, pulled over and stuck my hazards on, and I've rung the AA, who, because I'm a non-dangerous man on his... Well, you know, not, not in a dangerous situation, broke on his own, might be going to be here sometime in the next two hours. So, what to do? That is what I did. As soon as the red light came on, I phoned the firm and I said, look, we could have a problem here. I'm just giving the heads up. I'm going to keep going and hopefully I'll get it all off. But just in case we don't, I'm giving you fair warning. They said, thank you. I hope we don't get another phone call. And then when it did happen, I phoned them again and I've gone, right, this is the situation. I've told them whereabouts I am. Uh, they're going to try and send another van in to get the goods off me, possibly. But the problem we've got at the moment is because I'm on the um, hard shoulder of the motorway, we can't exchange the goods on the hard shoulder of the motorway because it's dangerous. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, get the van recovered off the motorway, then someone to look at the van. They may be able to fix it, they may not. Or um, otherwise they're going to recover me home where the mechanic's going to fix it. And in the meantime, the firm that I'm doing the flowers for might be trying to sort me out a van for the morning because apparently they need me for the morning because they want me on the flower job. It's very nice. It's nice to be wanted. But the long and short of it is this. Don't panic. You know, at the end of the day, it's only a vehicle, it's only money. It's not health. It's not great, it's not ideal, but as my man said, these things happen in transport, so just do it right. Keep people, you know, keep them on the picture. Keep them like, you know, tell them what's going on. And when you break down, have your breakdown cover. Things, guys, have breakdown cover, have um, a spare tyre, have um, jump leads, have lights, have like a compressor. You can have compressors for the tyres, which you've got one and they're really good. Have the stuff that you need to keep yourself running, have blankets, have drinks, have cups of tea, have it all on board. Because, you know, you never know when this is going to happen, right? Like, you know, I'm in the super duper high vis at the moment, so I'm nice and totally warm. But yeah, and keep everybody informed of the situation. Like, if you break down on the motorway, do what you're supposed to do. Get the other side of the barrier. I went to that course recently, and they turned around, because I've, I've sat in a cab before, and a bloke turned around and he said, um, oh, we're talking about changing tyres on the motorway. He said, the amount of times where someone, he said, one guy sat in the cab, he got out of the cab, went to make a phone call, the other side of the barrier. Second he got the other side of the barrier, he turned around, his car was gone. Someone smashed it out of the way. So really hoping that doesn't happen to Jess. But anyway, I'm here, I'm waiting, I'm hoping they'll get to me before it gets too dark and too cold. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take care. But I don't think I'm gonna take any money. Guys, it's gonna be Christmas. Keep the faith, bye.